And welcome back to This Morning, This Evening, or as we prefer to call Mark's Crazy Lockdown and Lockdown Quiz. And it's great to be back, isn't it, Phil? Yes, Holly, it's absolutely wonderful to be back. So everybody at home, sit down, make yourself a cup of tea. Um, so what have we got on the show tonight, Ben? Well, yes. Well, well firstly, I'd like to thank everyone for their support over the last eight months. Um, we raised £1,150 for the NHS, which was marvellous, wasn't it, Philip? Absolutely. absolutely wonderful. What are we going to be raising for this time then, uh, Hall? Well, this time we'd like to raise money for local charities. So if you're a local person or a local charity in need, then give us a call. Write in to us, pick the phone up, give us a call, and let us know what the need is. We will decide if we can help you, won't we, Phil? We will, exactly. We exactly. Fabulous. Fabulous. Any birthdays this week, Holly? What yes, we well, this, week as this well? week's birthdays we've got. Um, it's Lacey's ninth birthday. Lacey, that's next Saturday. And it's Freya's birthday on Sunday. Oh, she's five. And, she's five. and uh, we've had a call in from Dave Coslett. It's his birthday next week as well. So happy birthday to you, David. God bless you. Happy birthday. And don't forget, Hall, somebody's birthday on Wednesday. Very, very special birthday on Wednesday. Of course, it's Mark. Okay, so let's get on with the show. Get on with it. Go on, get on with it. Okay, so ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, everybody, family, uh, we have uh, four rounds of questions as we did before. Round one is general knowledge. Round two is TV intros. Round three is called Doctor Doctor. And where we will be joined by Doctor Mange. Oh, I love Doctor Mange. Yes, Doctor Mange. She's oh. wonderful. I've missed Doctor well, Mange. She. She, he, she, whatever it is. 
and um, round four is TV programmes. Yes, so those of you sitting home with your cup of tea should know a lot of these TV programmes. Yes, and at the end of tonight's quiz, we have the play and end game, which is spin to win. Where you will need today's catchphrase. Any catchphrase. What's they, today's catchphrase? Well, when, they, when we phone them, they're not allowed to say hello. If you say hello, no. uh, uh, hang up on you. We no, hello. No, no hello. hello. no hello. No hello. No hello. Hello. Today's catchphrase. So if we phone you, when you answer the phone, you've got to say, "An apple a day keeps the doctor away." An apple a day keeps the doctor yeah. away. Apple a day keeps not hello. Not hello. No hello. We put the phone down. An apple put a day down. keeps the doctor away. So an apple a day keeps the doctor away. Mm -hmm. So remember that when you get your phone call for those of you who sent your number into us. So let's get on with the quiz, shall we? Are we all ready? Yes. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. <laughs> Round one. General knowledge. Here we go. Have you got your pen and paper ready? Round one is what is? Oh, hang on. She's Sorry. Had, she's had terrible trouble with her eyesight over the lockdown. <sighs> terrible trouble. What is the national sport of Japan? Ooh. National sport of Japan? Japan. Oh, gosh. Okay. Thumb wrestling. National sport of Japan. Question two. What colour is found on 75% of the world's flags? Hmm. That's an interesting that one, was, isn't it? Do you remember when Trump came and helped us with the flags? Oh, oh Trump. Oh, oh yes. Fabulous Trump. Trump. And his flags. That was question two. What colour is found on 75% of the world's flags? Question three. What is the name of the most southerly point on the United Kingdom mainland? You might know it as something else, but I'm looking for the correct answer. What is the name of the most southerly point? Down there. On the United Kingdom mainland. Okay, it's not what you think it might be. No. Question four What is the largest country in the world? Wales. What's the largest country in I the world? Well, it wouldn't be Wales, would it? No, would it be Wales? No. Wales. Of course, it's not going to be Wales. Question five. Which King of England was crowned on Christmas Day? Which King of England was crowned on Christmas Day? I forgot to tell them, Phil, that we're raising money this year, this time and it's quite easy to donate. Yes, you can donate on. via justgiving.com and if you put in Just Giving and you do the search and you put in Mark's Crazy Lockdown Quizzes, there's a facility there that you can donate for money. And we'd like to raise a thousand pounds to help as many people as we can, okay? Um, we've currently raised 75 pounds so far already, and big thank you to those that have donated. We're gonna try and help as many people as we can, okay? So that's what Mark's Crazy Lockdown Quiz is on justgiving.com. Back to this quiz, question six. Six, well done. Question six, how many notes are there in a musical scale? I musical. I could have sung. I could have sung. I could have sung quite a lot. You know my voice is fantastic. That was question six. Question six. How many notes are there in a musical scale? And for those who don't know who I am, I'm Holly Woolly Booby. Question seven. The three gorges dam as of 2016 the largest hydroelectric power station in the world stands on which river the three gorges dam as of 2016 the largest hydroelectric power station in the world stands on which river that's question seven you been there no. No. no, 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 no. Me, me not me either. Don't take me anywhere. <clears throat> Question eight. What do the initials R, N, L, I stand for? R, N, L, I. What do the initials R, N, L, I stand for? 
Very simple. Question nine. Entomology is the study of what? Entomology is the study of what? And you don't like some of these things. I don't like these, no. I don't like these. Not specifically these not things, all, but Not all of them, but of just things. Things. some of them, yeah. Yes, some yes, of them. you don't like That was question nine. Question nine, entomology is the study of what? Okay. We have not a cup of tea yet either. Oh, I'll make one, make one, one, one in a Question 10. The last question in the first round of general knowledge. Which regularly scheduled train service first departed Paris in 1883? Think about it. Which regularly scheduled train service first departed Paris in 1883? That was question 10. That's the end of the first round. Are you ready for the answers? We're ready. You ready? Are we ready? I'm ready. You I'm ready? ready? Are they ready? Okay. Are you ready? No. Don't forget, no cheating. We don't like cheaters. No, no Googling. No Googling. Question one. What was the national sport of Japan? It wasn't thumb wrestling. I was close, no. though. I was close, though. It was sumo. Sumo wrestling. Sumo. Sumo wrestling. Question two. What colour is found on 75% of the world's flags? Red. Red. Just like your lipstick. Yes. You've got a bit on your teeth. Oh, yeah. It was red. Question three. What's the name of the most southerly point on the United Kingdom mainland? Well, if you'd have put John O'Groats. No. Or Land's End. John O'Groats is at the top. Um, you, when you blonde, go walk, you drop. Go from Land O'Groats. Yes. John okay, so. Good job it's, not, it's, like an it's not Land's End. <laughs> it's Lizard Point. I wanted Lizard Point. Okay, that's question three. Question four, what is the largest country in the world? Well, it was Russia. Russia. Not China. Not China, not China. Not China. It was Russia. 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 Question five, which King of England was crowned on Christmas Day? Well, it was William the First, William the Conqueror. Oh, that's close. William the Conqueror. Had a lovely pair of conquerors, bless him. He did. Question six. How many notes are there in a musical scale? La, 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 la. Do, re, mi, fa, so, la, ti, do. Seven. Seven oh, notes in a musical scale. Question seven. The Three Gorges Dam, as of 2016, is the largest hydroelectric power station in the world, but it stands on which river? Zambezi, Zambezi. No, no, sorry, wrong one. Yahtzee. Do you know, since you come out of the closet, Phil, you've gone far <laughs> too camp. Far too camp. The Yahtzee. Yangtze. Not Yahtzee, that's a game you play with. Yangtze Jets. River. Same Question eight. What do the initials RNLI stand for? Royal National Lifeboat Institution. You must have all of it for a full point. Question nine. Entomology is a study of what? Mind this, one behind you. Oh no, it's okay. Insects. You don't like that. Insects. Question 10. Which regularly scheduled train service first departed in Paris in 1883? Well, that was the Orient Express. Are we ever going to go on that? Maybe, one day, maybe. We might get sponsorship. We might, we might. might get sponsorship. If we say it often enough, they might. Yeah. The Orient Express. That was... Round one, ten questions. Marks over ten for your first round of questions. Time for the break. I'll go make a cup of tea now, shall I? Cup of tea. Lovely for go a make cup, a cup of tea. tea. See you all later. Lovely for a See cup you of tea. See you, I won't be long. Um, today's phone-ins, today's phone-ins on, on the show, um, we were talking about family issues. And um, I have somebody on the, on the line. Um, we'll just see now who we have. Hello? So your name is... Jennifer, right? Hello, Jennifer. Yes, and what's the problem we can help you with tonight? Your son cross dresses. You're quite worried about your son cross dressing. Well, Jennifer, I wouldn't worry too much, Jennifer, because it's just a phase he's going through, right? You know, if you catch him out sometimes and he's wearing a dress, well, I just then go with it, Jennifer. 
I wouldn't worry too much. It's probably a phase, as, as we said. But uh, there we go. And um, what, he's nicked some gloves off you. Has he? Well, why would he be nicking gloves off you? Is that part of his cross-dressing? Well, there we go. Anyway, best of luck, Jennifer. Please keep watching, Phil and Holly. All right, we thank you very much. And don't forget, spin to win, watch later. Thank you, Jennifer. Well, that was our first corner. That was the first corner, ringing up with her son being a cross-dresser. Very, very bizarre. Very bizarre. Sugar hole! Yeah, one. One. So, round two is called TV Themes. Round two is called TV Themes. Okay? We're going to play you a TV theme. You have to write down what it's from. Very simple. Very simple. Are we ready? Number one. me to be on that show once. Question two. What is this theme from? Number three. was an interesting one. That was number four. Number five. Six. So nice. Be on your own without Philip being around. Things to take over. That's number six. Number seven. Number eight.
that was number eight. Number nine. Slow on the cup of tea. Last one, just have it. Number ten. That's the end of the music round for TV themes. Long time without cup of tea, Phil. Oh, yeah, sorry. Long time without cup of tea. So, number one, are we ready for the answers? Number one was Baywatch. Number two was Open All Hours. Yes. Open all hours. Number three, historically old old Benny Hill. Yes, Benny. Number four was Paddington Bear. Yes, Paddington Bear. Number five was Monty Python's Flying Circus. That's all I was looking for, Monty Python's Flying Circus. Number six was Wallace and Gromit. Wallace and Gromit, yes, number six. Number seven, for all you clever clogs, that was Mastermind. Yes, Mastermind. Number eight, we've all been to this shop, Mr. Ben. Yes, as a kid's programme I remember this one, Mr. Ben. Number nine, that was Red Dwarf. Yes, the old sci-fi, Red Dwarf with Liston and Smeg. And number ten was Jonathan Creek. Marks out of ten. Marks out of ten. Okay, that was the end of that round. Round two TV themes. Okay, so we'll be ready for the next one. Phil, have you done that tea or coffee? Yeah. Okay. I'm going to go and help Gino in a minute, though. What's Gino going to do he's with it? He's cooking in the kitchen and he's just set it on fire. Okay. Oh, he's got a fire going. Oh, he's got a fire going. Okay. 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 So, the next round of questions, ladies and gentlemen, the next round of questions is called Doctor Doctor. And I'd now like to invite our good old resident doctor, Dr Mange, to I'm come in of... for the next round to give me a hand. Come in, Dr Mange. Well, I brought the tea. Oh, marvellous. Uh, Phil's gone to... Where's Phil gone? He's gone to see Gino. Oh, is he? Gino set fire to the kitchen. Lovely cup of tea. What's cup it? of tea in this morning for this evening. Gin and tonic going on. <sighs> cup of tea. Mad as a box of frogs. Lovely cup of tea. Thank you, Dr. Manns, for coming in. You're welcome. Lovely. It's nice to be back. So we're going to do some questions. and it's, These questions are called Dr. Doctor. Um, having Dr. Manja tonight would be able to assist me in the answers. I can help you a bit. For this particular round. It's not very medically Are we all ready? Question one. How many ribs do humans have? Not from the takeaway. Oh, not barbecue. Not barbecue ribs. Oh. How many ribs do humans have? That's question one. Try counting. Right. <sighs> question two. What, in what part of the body would you find 
the fibula. Fibula. F-I-B-U-L-A. Fibula. Not lying. Not laying. Fib. Fibula. What part of the body would you find the fibula? Don't know. Maybe you know. Question three. What is the largest organ in the human body? What is the largest organ in the human body? Not that sort of organ. For an extra 40 quid, we could have had Dr. Hillary. <laughs> Question four. Which bone are babies born without? Question four. Which bone are babies born without? Are there nipples showing there, Hoss? Oh, it was a bit cold. That was question four. Which bones or which bone are babies born without? Question five. In humans, traumatic auricular hematoma is the medical term for which sporting injury? In humans, traumatic auricular hematoma is the medical term for which sporting injury? Sporting. 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 Well, I give it up, A Bit strong, that was. It was a bit. <laughs> Question six. What is the name of the oath taken by doctors? Dip, dip, dot, dot. Or scouts. Or scouts. Yeah. I belong to them as well. What is the name of the oath? given or taken by doctors. Okay, that's question six. Question seven. What disease do ticks cause? Ticks. 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 Just tick, ticks. tick, tick, tick. What disease do ticks cause? Ticks. No wonder Dr. Mann doesn't have much work recently. Question eight. In the doctor's round, Chang and Eng Bunker were the first recorded people to suffer with which complaint? I'll repeat the question. Chang and Eng Bunker were the first recorded people to suffer with which complaint? I'll get some more sugar, is it? I'll get some more sugar. I'll be back. All we could get at the last minute. We couldn't get anybody else. Dr. Hillary was doing a COVID show. Okay. Question nine. What is the most flexible muscle in the human body? What is the most flexible muscle in the human body? Ooh. I don't know. Question 10. The palatine glands are more commonly known as what? The palatine, palatine, palatin. or palatine, depends where you come from. Yeah, tomatoes, tomatoes. The palatine glands are more commonly known as what? I don't know. That's why we're asking you. And that was question 10. So that's the end of that round. Are we ready for the answers? answers. Dr. Mange, shall we go through with the answers? Me, right, okay. Question one, Dr. Mange. How many ribs do humans have? Twelve. Twelve. Excellent. He's got one right. <laughs> question two. In what part of the body would you find the fibula? Uh, the leg. The leg. Correct. Question three, what is the largest organ in the human body? It's the skin. The skin, correct. The a skin is the largest. An organ, no, know. exactly. It is an it organ. Is, the skin is an, is an organ. The skin is yes. an organ. Yes. And um, question four, which bone are babies born without? It's actually the kneecap. The kneecap? The really? Kneecap. It is. Kneecap. 
Didn't know that, Dr. No, Mike. I had to look that up twice. Question five. In humans, traumatic or, traumatic or reclear hematoma is a medical term for which sporting injury? Now, if you're a rugby player, you'll know exactly what this is. It's cauliflower's ears. Cauliflower ears. Cauliflower ears. Yes, cauliflower mm. ears. That's question cauliflower five. Ears. Question six. What is the name of the oath taken by doctors? The Hippocratic Oath. Correct. The Hippocratic Oath. That's question six. Question seven. What disease do ticks cause? Lyme's disease. Lyme's disease, yes. Spelt with a Y. Mm -hmm. Question eight. Chang and N. Bunker were the first recorded people to suffer with which complaint? What was that, Dr. Well, because there was two of them. Chang and Eng, that had to do with two people. It's actually the Siamese twins. So they were co-joined? They were co-joined. They were co-joined. That's Siamese what twins. the problem was. They were Siamese twins. Mm -hmm. And question nine. What is the most flexible muscle in the human body? Well, you like to use this a lot, don't you all? It's the tongue. Yes. The tongue. Question ten. The palatine or palatine glands are more commonly known as what? It's your tonsils. Yes, so if you're going palate. out of your tonsils, tonsils. taking out palate, palatine, it's the tonsils. Mm -hmm. Yes. <sighs> Say it. Yes, oh. Dr. Mange, well, oh. I gotta it's, go. been, it's been great to have you back I gotta here. I'm go make some house calls and do some bed baths and, you know, oh. that sort of stuff. I might go and see Trump, see if he's okay. We'd like to thank Dr. Mange for coming in. Thank you, Dr. Mange. No problem. I'll go right. and see uh, Phil. Go and tell Phil. And Alison. Oh, Alison said hello. Alison who? Oh, the uh, wannabe. Right. So, round four. Round four is called TV programmes. Okay, TV programmes. Don't forget at the end of the quiz, okay, you need to um, private message us with your scores. Let us know who, how much you scored so we'll know who the winner is to announce next week. And also, when we call you, whoever the lucky person will be for Spin to Win... You need to say, an apple a day keeps the doctor away. Don't say hello. We'll put the phone down. Okay. What surprises to win? Cash to be won. Round four. TV programmes. Yes, TV programmes. Question one. In what TV show did the main characters live? In Nelson Mandela House. In what TV show did the main characters live? In Nelson Mandela House. That's question one. Got to have a bit of slurp in your tea. <laughs> question two. Which shell-shocked Coronation Street couple became parents to quads? Yes, which shell-shocked Coronation Street couple became parents to quads? Half a point for each. It's a couple, so it's two. That was question two. Question three. Name the former reality star who presents the revamped show Supermarket Sweep. Bless him. Yes. Old Tuthy himself. Name the former reality star who presents the revamped supermarket sweep. Yes. Question four. Yes. Which TV journalist took part in the X Factor celebrity version? Which TV journalist took part in the X Factor celebrity version? Do you remember? Did you watch it? He wasn't a very good singer. Oh, well, my hair is getting all knotted. That was question four. Which TV journalist took part in the X Factor celebrity version? Question five. Starring Martin Clunes as the grumpy title character, the TV show Doc Martin was and is set in which English county? Starring Martin Clunes as the grumpy title character, the TV show Doc Martin was set in which English county? Yes, where to? 
We're two. Question six. Steve was the name of the security guard on which popular axed daytime TV show? Steve was the name of the security guard on which popular axed, that means finished, daytime TV show? Steve. That's question six. Question seven. Question seven. In which TV programme, it's my apologies, got it wrong, somebody's written it down wrong, I have to speak to uh, the, the your coordinators later. In the quizzical world, who was, who has the name of the vixen? Yes, the vixen. In the quizzical world, who has the name of the vixen? Got some lippy on my teeth. Question seven. In the quizzical world, who has the name of the vixen? Yes. Stop laughing. You know, I could be doing anything else on a Sunday evening. I'll have to speak to my agent. Question eight. In which TV programme does the school Rudge Park comprehensive feature? In which TV programme does the school Rudge Park comprehensive feature? I just sort my eyes out. There we go. Better. That's question eight. Question nine. Name the two presenters of location, location, location. Half a point for each. Name the two presenters of location, location, location. Half a point for each. That's question nine. And question ten. The last question in our return to Mark's crazy lockdown quizzes. The last question of the quiz. The TV entertainment show Gladiators, Gladiators was originally hosted by Eureka Johnson and which former footballer? Question 10. The TV entertainment show Gladiators was originally hosted by Eureka Johnson and which former footballer? I don't know. That's why we're asking you. So that's the end of the round. Phil's not here, so I'll have a quick drink. <laughs> Question one. In what TV show did the main characters live in Nelson Mandela House? Well, that was only Fools and Horses, Del Boy, Del Boy Trotters, yes. Question two. Which shell-shocked Coronation Street couple began parents to quads? That was Gemma and Chesney. Half a point for each, Gemma and Chesney. Question three. Name the former reality star who presents the revamped supermarket sweep. That was Rylan Clark. Yes, right and Clark, old Tuthy. <laughs> Question four. Which TV journalist took part in the X Factor celebrity version? Well, that was Martin Bashir. And he was crap. He was rubbish. I wouldn't have him singing for me. Question five. Starting Martin Clunes or starring Martin Clunes as the grumpy title character in the TV show Doc Martin, which was set in which English county? Which English county was it? Well, it was Cornwall. Cornwall, yes. Question six. Steve was the name of the security guard on which popular axed or finished daytime TV show? Well, that was Jeremy Kyle's show. Jeremy Kyle, yes. 
Question seven. In the quizzical world, who has the name of the vixen? Well, that's Jenny Ryan. Yes, Jenny Ryan. Question eight. In which TV programme does the school Rudge Park comprehensive feature? Well, that was the in-betweeners. Yes, the in-betweeners. Yes, those boys. Ooh. Question nine. Name the two presenters of Location, Location, Location. Well, that was Kirsty Alsop and Phil Spencer. Half a point for each. And question 10. The TV entertainment show Gladiators was originally hosted by Eureka Johnson and which former footballer? That was John Fashionu. Yes, John Fashionu. That's it. Marks out of 40, please. That's what we're looking for. Marks out of 40. And private message me. Send me a link later on. Give me 10 minutes so we can finish the rest of our this morning's evening show. I'll wait for Phil to come back in a minute. But we are going to be playing. Sorry, Hal. Sorry, Hal. Go well, tidy up. Go we're going to tidy up a minute. There we go, Phil. Yes, yeah. We're going to tidy up a minute. We're going to be, we're going to be playing and get rid of that. Holly, what have I told you about drinking? Oh, just a slurp. Just going to get rid of all this, Holly. Bring the slurp. wheel in, Holly. Go bring the wheel in. Just a slurp. <laughs> So, don't forget, we're going to be spinning the wheel, cash to win. Yes, cash to win. Don't forget, if your phone answers, if your phone's ringing, you cannot say hello. Make sure you say something else, please. And what have you got to say? An apple a day. Keeps. Is your phone ringing now? Is your phone ringing? Is your phone ringing? Don't forget. Answer the words. We won't say anything. An apple a day keeps the doctor away. Yay! Yay! Yes, you're in. Hello, how are you doing? We're fine, thanks. Here we go. Are you ready to spin to win? Yeah. Who am I speaking to? You're speaking to Fran. Hiya, Fran. Thanks for supporting us, my darling. Are you ready to spin the wheel? Yeah. Would you like it hard or soft? You still there? She's gone. <laughs> Where have you gone? I'll hold her back. We'll ring her back. I think it was the hard or soft send her right over the edge. It does work. Just checking. We're ringing her back. Technical hitch. We'll get there. Welcome to Sky Voicemail. Oh. Oh. The person you're calling is not available. Try right, one more time. One more time. One more time. We lost her. We're trying, Fran, if you We're can We're trying, hear us. Fran. We're coming here. Uh, Phil's ringing. I don't know what happened. Are we ready? Oh. oh, we got it back. We got it back. Whoa. Oh. Live TV, eh? Live. Oh, I yes. know you've told us before, yes. you silly <laughs> moo. You've told us before. Right, are we you, lost you. Would you like me to spin this hard or soft? Uh, hard, please. You like it hard to spin it, do you, darling? Yes, please. Okay, here we go. So we're playing for £5, pound, a pound, two pound, 50p. There's a prize on there. There's a, oh, she's won 50p! 50p, friend, you've won way! Let's have a look. You've got the chance of going into this morning's evening's bag as a winner. She's bringing the bag in. Thank you, Phil. We've got a bag. Here we go. What's in the bag? 
Oh, we got a jigsaw. There's a jigsaw. It's a Spider-Man jigsaw. We've run out of ours, Hall. We haven't got any more of our, our jigsaws anyway. No, we've got Spider-Man jigsaw. What have we got for you oh. and David? We've got a hot stone massage kit. Woohoo! <coughs> There'll be fun in your house tonight. Wow. Thank you very much. Okay. You've got 50 pence coming to you, okay? And the hot stone massage kit, okay? See you next week. Thank you very much, Fran and Dave. God bless you all. So, ladies and gentlemen, we're going to see you next week, live again, Sunday, 7 o'clock, where we will be out again. Thank you all very much. God bless you all. Don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel, Mark's Crazy Lockdown Quizzes. You can donate on justgiving.com, Mark's Crazy Lockdown Quizzes. We're going to help a lot of charities locally within the Bridgend area. God bless you all. Thanks for supporting us. We're back. We're back with a vengeance. Love you all.